this is the finance committee meeting and i'm going to call this meeting to order uh it's september 30th and um 607 so we are going to start the finance committee meeting so to start um i did the minutes but um it was i didn't send them out so i have in front of you i printed you some yep. minutes from the last time we were here when we uh, were right outside this was very brief but if you just take a quick peek it's just um, a couple and the second page is just the, the year-end transfers but we've already discussed them all um, if you have any questions or if I have a motion to I'll make accept a motion them. to accept them okay motion oh I forgot to announce who everyone was here was I think I was Amy Fiden Peter Matusko Paul Benjamin and so that's who we have today for a quorum so a uh, motion by Paul. Second. Second by uh, Peter. Peter. And um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. The notes are done. OK. So um, I know we don't have a lot, but what we can just, if there's any updates, we can do those. It's probably going to be a pretty quick meeting, but at least we can get any updates that the, um, um, that the town has it, as far as the warrant. Um, ambulance, union contracts, any free cash, any updates at all, I'll take. And then um, after, at the end, we're just going to schedule all our meetings for the remainder up till town meeting. So, Linda or Michael, whoever has something to give us, please yes, join. Well, the last uh, the last warrant, um, because the select board has, doesn't isn't done with the warrant yet, so that would be the one from September 18th. Okay. that's the one published on board docs and there's not a lot, lot of information we've been doing a lot of work since then but um it's uh it's you know what it, it's our practice to bring it to select board first and when it's been through there and they've approved things then to bring it to select to uh, finance committee um, to review there's are a number of financial articles and those will not change there will be some amendments to each of the budgets the uh, general fund budget and uh, the sewer and water budgets and actually Hadley Media too. Um, there will be a number of capital articles. And once again, the Capital Planning Committee is still working on, on that. They have had one meeting where they've met with half the departments and uh, they are meeting tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock. Are, are you on I'm, it, Paul? I'm okay, the representative right. from yeah, this yeah. yes. I'm okay, on. so and that, tomorrow will be the school and the mm, DPW. DPW. Yeah, and those are pretty big ones. Yeah. <laughs> those are pretty big ones. So we will uh, we will be wrapping that up. We will be um, looking at something <coughs> like a half million dollars in borrowing within the levy again. There won't be any debt exclusions because we'll do those in the spring when we can um, go on to have a ballot, which is needed after a debt exclusion, and that will line up with the elect town elections. You have a half a million available in the levy. This First. is a half a million borrow uh, borrowing within the levy. Half a million is about what we pay off each year within the levy. So I didn't that's realize why. because we did so much the last meeting. I didn't know that we had any room left for this. We we pay off. We pay it off and take sure. it. Sure. Yeah. But I so thought we did it ahead of time because mm -hmm. that's why we wanted to. When we said we were taking out a, st they wanted to take out a stabilization during our last one. When we, when we're not, we, I, I don't, I'm not sure we're talking the same thing, Amy. We're talking about borrowing to be paid back within the operational budget over the years. Yeah, yeah, and we, so okay. we didn't. So basically, like the house over at the DPW, mm -hmm. we were looking to at one point because we didn't want to use up all our capital availability. Oh, we were going ahead. So okay, we, I, no, I see what you're saying now. I completely understand what you're saying, and you're right. You're right. So we did a lot of um, knocking back a lot of the requests. Are we going to have the full amount again? We're still negotiating a couple of them. Um, at one point, I had it down to 300000 so maybe we'll be, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get it there. But thank you for that reminder, and I'll make sure yeah, that there was I, that, I check there was, that out. Yeah, the, yeah the house. that's right. We did, we did go ahead um, into the dip into the next year. All right. So... Um, Although, now the borrowing is, um, it's the payments that have to stay within the, the half million, and we have a number of things in the past that we haven't had to borrow for, and they're going to be changed over. So there's a little bit of, uh, 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 we have to balance it against what's not going to be borrowed that has been approved in the past. So okay. that's, this is all the juggling that we still have to do between sure. now and when the warrant is done. 
and so like the ditches will after. that be we were going to take that out of the big ditch on east street the culvert i believe that was going to come out mm -hmm. and i don't know if that's get pushed off that was another item i believe that was part of the um oh in the spring in the spring that we yeah. borrowed yeah we haven't done any of the borrowing but so so yeah. maybe we could push yeah. that one back okay so okay let's take a look yeah all right it'll be there it'll be it'll be covered <laughs> um, but yeah so we have uh some use of water reserves very little use of free cash because we we don't know where we are with free cash yet yeah. Which when is you update number two. Cash. We've had a, a lot of back and forth with the accountants over the last couple of weeks. Oh, okay. A lot of back and forth. So we're, uh, we're getting used to each other and how we do things. And um, okay. so uh, we, have, uh, uh, we, should, uh, we should be able to have that figure hopefully this week and then certainly before your next meeting. Great. So, so the other things that you have, like the ambulance, that's going to be within the budget. We are going to have, uh, that's, um, oh, that will be an article. Um, this goes, it's hard for us to come up with um, what the bottom line is on any of these budgets because they're all still subject to the, uh, the union negotiations and new unions and then uh, the, um, so that's your area. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we have, um, we're still working on the two different unions right now. Um, my hope is is that we'll be able to complete negotiations within the next couple of weeks. I was just looking at the calendar today <clears throat> because of the fact that we were able to push town meeting off for a little bit. Um, we're basically going to have two select board. Well, I'm sorry. We're going to have one more select board meeting, essentially October 16th meeting. I think it is mm -hmm. um, to be able to have them reopen the warrant and accept both of the union negotiation items, whatever those numbers are. The problem is, is that um, until we finish negotiations, we can't do really do any of the math. Um, we can't even really give like a ballpark because we just don't know where it's, what it's gonna be. What, what two unions are we So we have about? the municipal union um, and we have the fire department union. Both are brand new unions that were started uh, within the last year. Um, the municipal union is currently negotiating a three-year contract. We will likely end up with a three-year contract. The fire department union is um, considering just doing a one-year contract just so we can get it done uh, and get it out of the way. So what is the municipal one consists of? Who are the? Town hall. Um, Council on Aging employees, library employees, folks like that. Uh, administrative assistants who are kind of randomly scattered about town, way up one in the police department, um, a couple in DPW, places like that. So it's basically clerical-ish type okay. employees. Okay. And then the fire department. So we're close, but I'm hoping that within the next and the fire department right. consists of all the ambulance because yes. and it even consists of the one person that we have actually in ambulance the fire department consists of the actual firefighters the ranking um, full-time firefighters who also will who also work in the ambulance i think the issue is is that part of the budget will come from the payment you know, for it will come from the ambulance receipts and part of it is coming from operations. That's why Mike's okay. having such a hard time getting Same the math you. squared away on okay. that because he kind of has to split it. He splits it in half. Yeah. I don't want to say it's right in half, but it's, it's, it's definitely a, a split. Okay. Um, you know, if we're lucky, two weeks, maybe a week and a half, I have, we have one meeting tomorrow and one next week, midweek. All things go well. We'll have both of them wrapped up in the next two meetings. So, we'll so then you'll be able to get approved through select board as a whole for on the 16th. Yeah. They would okay. they would likely have to reopen the warrant because my guess is is that they're going to review it on Wednesday, review it tomorrow, and potentially close it. And they may have to open it again and then insert these items, or they may just sit on it until next month until the 16th. Okay. I think at the last meeting we had, they chose 
not to, it's been on the agenda for the last two meetings to review the warrant and close it. Okay. And I think they chose at the last meeting to not touch it until it was the last possible minute to see if we could get these other items done. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have anything on the MS4 stormwater system? Is that going to be part of? Was, where's that going? That's is, on your capital. Um, that's going to be part of capital? Linda, did you? Do they have this? They don't have that because, I, the, again, it hasn't gone to the select board. Yeah. And it, um, or the capital planning. Or the capital. Yeah, so we're going to put it in front of capital planning tomorrow at the 3 o'clock meeting um, and go over. Linda's been working hard on funding sources for all of these things. Okay. We have some backups. Um, like just to give you an example, the computer server that Paul and I were discussing a little bit earlier for dispatch, we're going to be writing a grant for that. Unfortunately, the grant doesn't open until January 6th or something like that. So we need to make sure that this is in here in the event that we get denied the grant or we get partial money on the grant. Okay. Um, and then we can just roll back what we don't spend. Um, so we have, we're working with all of the department heads on not only what is it, what do you need now, what can we push off, but also are there, are there any other funding sources out there that you can, sure. you can utilize? But the MS4 stormwater is on to be discussed at tomorrow's meeting. And is yep. that something that has that that's something that has to be done right. now? I mean, it's timely, right? It's not something right. you can push off. Right. Okay. What is this MS stormwater? <coughs> We would probably have to have, I mean, unless Linda can, I don't know if you've, if you've had any conversations with, with uh, Scott, but we would probably have to have him here to go over the whole thing. Unfunded mandate. The yes. last time I sent him, the last yeah. time I it's, sent him an email. storm water. Yeah. The water going into the river. The rivers. Right. right. Yeah. I mean, I guess yeah. that's the simplest way to put yeah, it. Yeah, protection of the river. The last time I sent him something about it, he said, this is too complicated to answer in an email. Can I come talk to you? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, great. Um, so yeah, I mean that's the simplest way to put it. Yeah. Basically, uh, this has been going on. Oh, it's probably five five years. Anyhow, yeah, when we we had over three hundred thousand into it initially for borrowing, and now that's been spent down. And then yeah, we I hear about it every once in a while, and then it comes yeah. back. Yep. So it it will be when we have an ongoing. I did, we did talk to Scott about this. When we have an ongoing maintenance and expectation of what it's going to be each year to take care of this, we'll start getting it into the budget. But as it is now, it's quite it's erratic from year to year how much has to be spent. A lot of it was spent with actually PVPC um, to be doing um, initial planning. Uh, a lot of it went out the first year and then nothing the second year. A lot went out the third year. So, you know, things like that. So um, we did talk about perhaps putting into his budget this year, but it seemed like they needed an awful lot. Uh, they needed $100,000 this year. And, and um, We'll we'll wait and see what he thinks the maintenance is going to be after that. Maybe you know if we could do it for fifty thousand a year in the budget rather than you know coming back and having an article and, and filling it up because once we get to that point, it's going to be just you know a part of our doing business. Yeah. Will we be seeing anything as far as um, DPW with the building coming up? Not this fall. Not, not until the spring. The earliest, yeah. Okay. What is the Article 9, the uh, investor rule for the treasurer? I don't remember. I just see that as a... Uh, that's, uh, it changes the, um, or it actually expands the... Uh, um, this the leeway for uh, making, making, make, uh, making a little more... Um, Giving a little more, more I'm trying to, to, to it, say, right. Yeah, yeah, that's right, and bring it. A little uh, broader ability to invest uh, the town funds. Oh, the, uh, that's income. what it is. Yes. Right. Okay. A little more aggressively, if we want to. Okay. Which, that's fine. I, I just I didn't remember what it was. Yeah, it's uh, something that's been out a couple of years. We didn't do it the first year. We're waiting for someone to come, someone else to come up with the right language. Okay. That's happened. So now we'll stick it in, and um, good idea. We'll have a, a uh, an explanation for it idea so um, oh the I can talk about the um, we did I think talk about the employee compensated fund if this is the draft that went to select board the um, the employee compensated yeah. time fund is when we funded a couple of years we started it um, with ten thousand dollars we do have employees that 
have accumulated uh, uh, time off that they are to be compensated for when they leave or retire. Okay. Um, since it's usually a lump sum at that time, um, it's not something that you can put into that uh, employee's budget because it will throw it off once again. It might be high one year. Then the person maybe decides not to leave, which has happened to us a couple of times, and then it's sitting in the funds, so we, uh, in, in the budget unused. So uh, we then tried a couple of years ago moving into the HR uh, account to put in human resources as a line item to take care of these things. But once again, how much do you put in? So there is the, we are allowed to set up a fund to accumulate for employee compensated. We, we opened it up with $10,000 and thought that we put $10,000 a year in and get up to a certain level. And then we would have that as the source to pay employees when they leave and not have to um, upset the, bu the budget. Um, and really not call attention to an employee either. So that was the one of the things that we were thinking of in a small budget when you put, when you have a large, a, a large item, you know, you're really um, pinpointing a particular employee that might be leaving. So it, it, when we have it in this other fund, they can be paid outside of town meeting, outside of budget. So it just is a matter of course, they get their money on the way out the door. A bit yeah. more privacy that, to that as well. So we had not been uh, contributing for a couple of years. We do have a number of um, retirements this year. So it's time to, uh, we actually have to put in $50,000 just to catch up with ourselves. Um, if we, as long as we have that amount of free cash. When it comes to vacation time or sick time, is there a policy of something where if you don't use it, you lose it, or, you know, um, how far back are they rolling back their vacation time, saying, okay, I've got three years of vacation, I'm gonna be taking six months off, is there something that we have in the town? There's an employee handbook with policies yeah. on how they can use their time, right. um, and how much can be carried over each year. Okay. So you can't you know, work for five years and take no vacation and then have right. a few months off. Yeah. You have use it or lose it. Yeah. They it's buy. It's like yeah. a like just to give an example. I know the the police one by heart. I'm not sure what the town handbook says, but you're allowed to carry over up to half of what you earn throughout a year, yep. but only for the next year. You can't okay. carry it on. Right. So that's okay. comparable yeah. to yes. the private right. enterprise. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and there's also um, a sick time buyback mm -hmm. policy. So there's mm -hmm. only a certain amount of days that you can buy back at the end of the, the when you yeah. retire, so. It's good. Hmm. All right, All right. At the, towards the end of um, yep. the warrant, how about any of the uh, local options? You've got the meals, rooms, any of that stuff update, you know? No updates yet. Okay. No, it's not going to be on for this year. Yeah. Oh, so we'll... Yeah, it's been removed. Oh, we yeah. removed it, and it's for spring. Mm-hmm. Thanks. I hope so, because that would bring us nice revenue. Yeah. <laughs> we could use it. Okay. All right, Martin. Is there anything else that we should know? No. All right. Set up our meetings. Yeah, let's do that. Let's set up the next few meetings. So the town meeting is now going to be November 14th. Yes. We have the um, public forum to be when? Okay. So the select board is gonna take up that discussion within the special town meeting discussion on Wednesday uh, and select a date for, for, the the, public forum. for the public forum. Okay. They had it set for the day before town meeting when it was in October. And then when we asked them to move it, it was just something that had not gotten discussed. Okay. So, October. October is it. Yep, so um, I'm thinking and the select board meets on um, the, second the second and the 16th. 10 2 and 10 16, yes. Right? So I'm thinking if we're going to end up doing any type of, unless we talk to them 
Well, when, when do you have to have the warrant done by to have your recommendations in? So the warrant has to be posted by um, Halloween. 20, uh, the 31st, yes, I believe it's the last day in okay. October. So, the so we would technically, the select board could have an, another meeting. On the 30th. They could, if they wanted to. They could, they, they could actually schedule a meeting at any point after the 16th, but before the 31st to okay. do it. So my thinking is usually we touch base with the select board right before the warrant. So obviously we're not going to be able to do that on the second because we don't know anything. Right. They'll <laughs> so we're we're cancel, skip it we're canceling the second. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So So if I get this wrong, okay, so October second is done. Okay. okay. So yeah. So we can make sure that your conversation is on the agenda for the 16th. I'm thinking, and yeah. And then see how it goes, and you guys could schedule a, a meeting on, what, the 7th? 7th and Mondays, the 14th. 7th right? yeah. and the 14th. So we had it that there was a meeting on the 2nd, the 16th, and the town meeting was going to be October 24th. Yeah, so it's, it's all changed. All changed Everything's now to we're moving three weeks. November yeah. 14th That's is correct. going to be the town meeting. Okay. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. November, yeah. And like I said, they could, if... if um, you know, if something goes wrong and they, we can't get something locked in, but we know that we're so close to getting it, they could, you know, just add a meeting on, say, like, the 23rd. So what my guess is, so we will, let's, let's plan on meeting on no, October 7th and October 14th. Okay. Columbus, Columbus Day. Seventh, I'm not uh, Columbus Day. You're not going to be able to make it? Oh, that's Columbus Day. Yeah. That's you a holiday. Do, you could do the 5th. You want to do the next Tuesday. day or wait a week? I, uh, we should yeah, you could do the 21st. If yeah. So the 14th and the 21st? No, well, you here's can't do the, the 14th. 7th and the 21st. You can't do the 14th? Oh, you said the 7th you couldn't do? I can do the 14th and I can do the 21st. Okay. Or any of the other days in there. So the 14th, we'll 7th schedule. and 8th, I can't do. Oh, 7th, you cannot yeah, do. Yeah, cannot do. 14th is a holiday. Yeah. Oh. The 14th is a holiday. Yeah, yes. the 14th yep. is a holiday. Now that so you on can on do the 15th. Okay. I can do the 15th. Let's do that. If our other members can do it. Um, do we have anything? What else meets on the 15th? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Planning board planning meets board, that. Right? Planning board meets that well, so it's just a matter of competing for coverage. Oh, that's yeah. true. So you uh, but you meet earlier. Yeah. We meet. Yeah, planning board is seven, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, we meet at yeah. six. So if we could do 5:30, that there day. you go. Well, well the problem is, is I yeah, think Andy and Shardul. Sure oh. Well, we could ask them. Okay. Um, and then you want to do the 21st also? Well, here's, he, well. We could pencil it in. Or whatever the select, whatever's going to work for the select board. Um, well, I, the problem is, is if we're going to report to the select board on the 16th, we have to have met. We don't want to meet afterwards. Right. I mean, we so, want to be meeting before. Right, so if you met on so the 15th, I, if we have the numbers for you the 15th, the 15th, you could just... We can meet, but what if we have... That's the first time you're giving us. I mean, yeah. we might want two meetings and before, and if you give us something, we have questions, you go back. I'm just... Uh, yeah, you want to, so could we go... But could, couldn't, we go couldn't we go to 15th and the, the 21st meeting? and then go in front Tomorrow of them on the... the ninth. They're on not the going to meet again. No, they're not meeting oh, again. you're not meeting again. They only meet twice a month. Now, if they, if we did, if they did meet one more time, mm -hmm. then we could always push that back. I think, yeah, you I think, think it's very help. likely they're going to need to I meet on the probably 23rd. Pretty likely. Ask them. We can't. I can't have all the. If they could have a, a meeting on the twenty third, say. Then yes. Or the twenty third or the thirtieth. Right. Okay. All right. So. So let me just. So we're going for the right now the fifteenth and the twenty first. Yeah, I'm just taking. Am I correct? Yeah. Fifteenth. the 21st right. and then I'll ask okay the board uh, if they would be willing to add the 23rd and or the 30th yep to meet with finance to specifically discuss what your recommendations would be yeah. just to give you enough time to review right. and discuss yep. here yeah. so I'm penciling in the 23rd and yeah. the 30th, just, and then you tell me which one, okay. if it's possible. Right. Yeah, I'll do the same. 
So if I get this right, we are meeting, just to be clear, Tuesday the 15th. Yep. Right now at 6 p.m. at the Senior Center, unless we could do earlier. We are meeting on the 21st at 6 p.m. And then on the 23rd, if not 30th, if Select Board wants to meet. Yep. Soon? Yeah, we could. For which ones? The for your for your meetings, so that they're that they're taken. If, oh, we, did, if we did that on the, or the we could do that on the fifteenth as a courtesy. Oh, okay. If we did a Zoom meeting on the fifteenth, like then it select would be taken by they Zoom. Always do Zoom. So we wouldn't be in. So if we run late, we're not conflicting with the with the uh, uh, what is it? The planning board meets at night. Yeah, Tuesday. Yes, they yeah. do. Yeah. So then, if having media is working there, we're not live. You know, we're on Zoom. Sure. That would, if we could do that on the 15th, and then we'll go back to here on the 21st. So, Zoom on the 15th. Yeah. Is that right here? Does that make yeah. sense? I'll do whatever I have Figure. To yeah. Not All right. Okay, so that's going to be, okay, Zoom is going to be the 15th. The 15th, and then we'll do live here on the 21st, and then the 23rd or the 30th with the select with board. The select board. Right. I know I will not be around on the 30th. Okay. Well, that's where we'll just give our recommendations yeah. to select Okay. All right. Um, and then you'll let us know on the public forum, too. Right. Yeah, and we sorry. need to know about that. We need to attend that. I had for us listed at one point, I had for us listed November 18th as to start back, but. Ah, uh, yes. I, that's right after town meeting. I would say let's push that to that point because we just finished town meeting. And let's. Uh, you have the 18th? November 18th. Because at that point, we were going to try to do regular meetings right. at least once a month or something to keep up. We would have been almost a month after uh, town afterwards. Meeting. Right. Gotcha. So at this point, let's cancel November 18th. Yes. From your calendar? November 18th? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. We don't Get need it out. right the next, the next Monday after town meeting. I'm feeling like we should have one in December okay. to touch base because we're going to need to talk about, you know, what, what our plans are and then coming up to this, you know, in spring. You want to do the 16th or is it, or the 9th? Like I would be open to either. So Why don't we do the ninth? The ninth? Early in the month. Okay. Okay, let's schedule FinCom on the ninth. December. Oops. Okay. Okay. So with all these meetings they're all gonna be six o'clock and the Zoom one is going to still be six o'clock. At six o'clock, so all of them scheduled for being to six. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. except except the select board meetings, sorry. Well, when is the select board meetings? I don't remember. What time do they start? They start at six. Six also. Okay. Yeah. So fine. Yeah. Okay. So all right. So we're all yeah, six. This is Zoom on the fifth. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they would likely live. just do probably public comments and then the consent agenda and then jump right to this. Yeah. Okay. Six fifteen at the latest. Yeah. 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 Sure, that's fine. So on this on the. Uh, were you starting on October 7th as your first one or waiting till the 15th? No, I, we're waiting. Till You're going to wait for the 15th? Yeah, okay. Because I, I, the sewer hearing uh, for the uh, select board have that on the 7th. So. Yeah. What's on the 7th? Sewer. Uh, the sewer rate hearing. Oh, the sewer rate hearing. Okay. And where is that going to be? Through? I think it's Zoom. That's Zoom. Zoom? Yep. That'll be Zoom. It's in the pipeline. Okay. All right. I don't. Should have made it at seven a.m. I think we did it all, didn't we? I think I think we're good then for now, unless we have anything else. Right. Anything else? Any I'll other questions? Motion, motion to adjourn. Okay. I have a motion by Paul. Second. And a second by Peter. And it is now six thirty-seven. Have a good night, everyone. Thank good you. Good night, everybody.